Hi everyone. As far as we know that any private method of a class is accessible to that class only or object of that class only. But through reflection, we can achieve or we can get the private method instances of that particular class in other class also. So for that, what I'm doing here, I'm creating a mathematics class file in which I'll provide a private method and we will try to access this private method of this mathematics class to some other objects or some other main methods of the other class. So let's start by getting a get some method in which we will pass two parameters that is a and b and simply return the sum of this a and b. This is basic mathematics or basic math sum method. And let's provide a string method also in which we will return a string and I'll name this as test in which we will first of all call this test method and try to get this string return from this test method. So we will return this is a mathematics class. That's it. So these two methods are private methods. And now let's see how we can call this private method from different class. So for that, we will create a main class in which we will pass the reflection APIs to call these private classes. So for that, I have created a main class and provide this main method in this class. And now I'm going to create the mathematics object. So this mathematics object will contain two methods, test and other get some. So we'll try to get first of all, test private method of this mathematics class. And now I'm going to call the method of this particular math class contained inside the math class through the class file. So how we can achieve is that first we will get the reflection API. This method is from the reflection package and I will name it as private method. And I will call this from the reflection APIs provided that is mathematics class dot class dot get declared method. Inside this I will simply pass the method name. So as you can see, the method name is test only. I'll simply copy this and pass it here in the test. And this is how we can call the private method. But though it will not be accessible, first of all, let's declare exception in, in the throws part. I am simply passing here as exception as of now. And now to call this method, we need to set its accessibility. For that, we need to write set accessibility is equal to true. Otherwise, this method will throw an exception of an accessible type. And now I am changing this behavior of this method by setting accessibility as true. And simply I am going to print data is received from private method of other class is and simply I will return the data which will be received from that particular private method of the other class. So this is the private method and simply I'll pass the instance of that particular class inside the, the invoke method. So as you can see, dot invoke method is there in which I am simply passing the private method main class that is the maths. So either I can pass the main class here or I can simply write here as new main class or new mathematics. So I'm just passing this object from this line to directly to here as line number eight is not useful now. Let me remove this part. So simply I've called the private method and in this invoke method, I pass the class instance. So as you can see that data has been received. This is mathematics class. This is coming from the private method of the mathematics. So in this way we can achieve or we can call the private method of other class through reflection. And what will happen if there are certain arguments in the method? That is the second method, that is sum one. In sum, you can see that there are two parameters which are being passed, A and B. So now we'll see how we can pass the peri these parameters through the, to the private method. So simply let me copy this part and let me paste it here one more time to get the data from the sum method also. That, that is the private method of the mathematics class. So let me bifurcate it by passing this as out. Now let me paste it here. I'll simply change this 
test part to get some and I am changing it to get some and let me change the private method name also and before passing this get some I need to provide the arguments also that two arguments are being provided in the get some method so for that we need to make an array of class and in this array of class I need to provide the type so here we have two integers so I'll provide integer dot type as you can see this is an integer type so I'll simply write down integer dot type and simply they are being called two times so I'll pass it two times here I will rename or you can say name this method to private this variable has been already defined so I'm changing it to some method and simply paste it at the other parts also here and in the last also since two types or you can say two integers are already being provided in the sum I need to change the invoke method also I am changing this invoke method and just after this I need to pass the object of whatever the data we need to pass in an array so I'll simply write new object array and pass this two arguments which I need to get the sum so I'll pass the argument let's say p20 and 10 somewhat like that so I need I'll pass here 20 and 10 it will return me 30 so basic sum method so let me pull out this invoke part 2 evolve so that I can provide you that we are putting it in a variable so I'll simply write object because object is being returned initially or make it sum equals the thing which we have done in invoke of and I'll simply pass here sum and let me put it in the same line this and also what we can do is we can change this type because since object is being returned but we can change the type of this object to integer and also we can receive this integer part instead of object because as we know that already integer is being passed and we need to cast it in the integer so I'll typing here as integer let me put it as int only instead of integer I'll put it as int only and cast it to int instead of creating object every time so as you can see these two fields 20 and 10 are being passed to this invoke method and they will act as a parameter of that particular method now let me run this file main file java application as you can see the private method sum is also being called after the test method and as you can see the sum is 30 which is returned from that particular private method so in this way through reflection we can easily achieve the private method of other classes and can do the iteration or changes accordingly and this is possible through the reflection APIs provided in the Java. So thank you all for watching the video.